The next line we have is our 2017 Harrison House. Now, Harrison House is a wine that I want to talk about real quick. Um, it is a property name, but named after Benoni Harrison, who's one of the most prominent uh, property owners that LaGrange has ever had. Then we have our Benoni's Vineyard named after uh, the gentleman. So in Benoni's Vineyard, it is a capsule of uh, Petit Verdot Vineyard, and staying true to the name, the Harrison House to be is normally done as a Petit Verdot capsule blend. Actually, caps off, keep it out 60 40, same ratio as what's in the vineyard. Um, that's normally what it is. But if you guys can remember in 2017, the, the, the Petit Verdot that we brought in from our own property, um, it was really good, but a really light yield. And we only ended up with three barrels, and we didn't really have enough to kind of do any blending. We made a 2017 PV by itself. Um, so we had a hole in the, in the Harrison house of not having that Petit Verdot. Um, we did have some Cab Franc and uh, Merlot from the West Coast. So this is actually a blend of Cab Sauve, Cab Franc and Merlot. Cab Franc and Merlot from the West Coast, 30-30-30 blend. Um, and the Cabernet Sauvignon was from our, our property. So it definitely has a little bit of the East Coast, West Coast feel to it. Um, starting just looking at the color, it is definitely significantly darker than the Benoni's. Um, but it being a older red uh, and the color being so dark, I'm very actually quite pleased with it. So, Johnny, do you want to go into the uh, the nose or the palate this one? Yeah, so I get a little bit fruity aromatic from this one. Sure. Um, I also do really like the color on it. I think it's a little bit heavier than the uh, Benoni's was. Absolutely, and it's a very dark red, almost a little bit of that brick around the edge. I think that's kind of showing its age, but it's still definitely a very young, youthful red. Um, especially being a 17, it's already been bottled almost four years, and I think it still offers a lot of usefulness. Um, this is definitely going to age really elegantly in the next few years. Uh, on the nose, I would absolutely say, yeah, the fruit really comes through, kind of a baked blackberry compote, in my opinion. Uh, hints of licorice, uh, like the anise, and kind of the, the uh, earthiness of the wine comes through in that, in that regard. I think the acidity on this, it's like not too overwhelming, but it definitely Absolutely. Absolutely. The acidity is definitely going to be a driving factor to age and kind of keep the wine fresh. And being a four-year-old wine, I'm not really tasting like an older wine yet. Uh, I think that acidity is, is one of the main reasons. Um, and paired on the palate, I think that acidity really, really brings out a juiciness in this wine. Um, you're not lacking for fruit qualities. You're not lacking for a full rounded mouthfeel, uh, kind of blackberry jam, in my opinion, on the palate. Finishes off a little bit more of the, the uh, barrel uh, is having a little bit more of an impact, kind of the caramel. Uh, you definitely get a little bit of the, the toasted oak. Very light tannins, too, in my opinion, that don't, it's not a really long finish, but it definitely is a finish that leaves your mouth a little uh, fresh and wanting more. I'll put it that way. So. Any uh, ideas on pairings for this one? I thought this was one of my most terrible food around Christmas, like when I have your ham, watching food, or watching uh, Christmas food with your family. I would completely agree with that. Um, it definitely has a little bit more bulk and a little heavier uh, mouthfeel and bigger tannins than the Benoni's. So maybe, uh, if it, you know, it's a little heavy for a Thanksgiving dinner, but as Johnny said, if you have a, a ham or a Christmas roast that you're doing, something that's a little going to be a little heavier than Thanksgiving Day turkey. Um, this wine is a really nice pairing, or maybe after dinner, uh, Thanksgiving, that kind of thing, but a great holiday wine that is going to get a lot of, uh, how can I say this, it's going to be paired with a lot of different foods, and I think more people are going to be happy with what they find um, than not. So, it is our 2017 Harrison House Blue.